My wife left me after she got in shape and now wants to get back together. I, the 32M, was married to my wife, 33F, for four years and we had a great marriage so far. I was madly in love with my wife. She fell into depression mainly due to her job in 2022. I tried to support her in every way and suggested her going to gym or doing any kind of sports to de-stress. I had my own depression episode before we got married and what saved me was going to gym. She agreed to that and we started going there together. I could not go as frequent as in the past since my workload got heavier after my promotion. However, I tried my best to be there with her. She used to be a bit chubby, which I loved and after seeing some changes with her body, she started to go there regularly. It also helped her with depression and she got better. I was really happy to see her get better and livelier. She looked more confident, got more aggressive in bed and so on. However, after a while that confidence level started to affect our relationship for worse. She started going to the parties and going outside to a point she completely stopped doing her share in the house. That proceeded with me seeing her getting flirty with a guy at a meetup we went to. I communicated my feelings to her and she dismissed these. After several events like these, I had her sit down with me and told her that she is riding high on her newly found confidence and emotions right now. I clearly stated she should not make decisions or actions according to that confidence right now. I know it well. It was one of my worst traits. I used to be extremely emotionally driven in the past. I suggested we go to a marriage counselor and hell broke loose. She said vile things to me like how she realized she settled down with me after getting better and she could do much better than me. She said I am insecure and other things. This woman used to be the sweetest person on the earth and I was shocked after hearing the things she said to me. She filed for divorce the following month and I did not hear much from her other than some lawyer talks. Our court hearing is scheduled to be next month and my lawyer told me there is a high chance it'll be concluded then. There is not much to share. Similar income, only shared asset is our joint account, similar savings, and no kids. The house is my mom's so it's out of division. I accepted my marriage is going to end like that. Last week she called crying and told me she regrets everything. She apologized over and over again but I felt disappointed. Not angry, not sad but just disappointed. She did not text me nor call me even once since the divorce started. I did not even know where she was since she just left the home. I told her there is no going back now. She has been messaging me non-stop. My family supports my decision and tell me I should not back down. My in-laws were shocked when they heard about the divorce. They are now telling me to rethink everything. I will 99.9% .9 not back down but as I said, just looking for validation and maybe wanted to vent. Thank you for reading. Here were the top-rated comments from readers in response to the OP's initial post. Many Keats. It didn't work out with the better guy she wanted to leave you for, so now she wants to go back to the safe option. You loved her when she was chubby, and she wanted to throw that away for guys who probably only liked her for her new looks. You're right not to take her back. Firecracker 048. This is it exactly. She was talking with someone else and jumped ship to get with the better person. She either got a reality check after the high she was on wore off, or she saw who this person really was and quickly realized what she did. Zeke's. He should let her know he's not willing to settle for her and has more self-respect than that. Swimming underscore bag 7362. For what it's worth I don't think you'll find a person who would disagree with your decision. I wouldn't say the in-laws have your best interests in mind. Mrs. Mojo 825. I've lost almost 80 pounds this last year after my heart took a shit. I decided I wanted to live so I go to the gym every day. I've turned my health around and look better and better every day. Lots of men in the gym notice me now. I get hit on and even had an older man try to kiss me. My husband loved me over 300 pounds and stayed. He stood beside me at my worst and he definitely deserves me at my best. 
he isn't doing his best right now. As long as he is treating me well, I'm gonna stand by him, just like he did for me. He helped love me back to life. Now it's my turn to do the same. Two weeks later, the OP returned with an update. Update, my wife left me after she got in shape and now wants to get back together. Let me be alone, huh? We are officially divorced. There was not much to share so it went smooth as a butter, according to my lawyer. I've never talked to her other than through lawyers as much as she wanted me to. She tried to talk to me one-on-one -on -one and get closure but I just do not want that. It's not that I do not care why she left me or what she did during that time. I just do not want to know. I've been living without her for months now. At first, it was difficult and I cried all night for a while. But, after a few months, I feel like I came to accept everything. What peace will it give to learn what and why when I already accept everything other than hurting me? For once, I want to prioritize my peace of mind in this whole process. My parents and friends are here to support me, and I am glad that I have such a great support circle. As for what my plans are, renovate my office room in the house, get back to the gym and live my best life. I've been wanting to renovate my office room for a while now and that's what I'll start with. I started hitting the gym at the same time. I believe my body is good but I have some extra fat. Dieting proved itself difficult because I am a tiramisu addict, for the dating part, I uploaded few apps and tried it out. I got a decent number of matches but realized I do not feel like doing it right now. I'll focus on my own hobbies, well-being and wants for now. Thank you for all the support and help since the last post. Here were the top-rated comments from readers in response to the OP's post. Choo choo underscore. When the person who chooses to leave wants closure, just shut the door and keep it shut. They only want to make themselves feel better about their decision, no matter how bad it screwed you over. Bigger and better things to look forward to OP. All the best. Cybermajex. She got in shape. Had an affair. Left her husband for AP, affair partner. Jim AP moved on to the next married women and she's there with her entire life imploded for a thrill. And chances are she will go back to being depressed and overweight. Steadfast survivor. My take two. She's been dumped like garbage, when she thought she had someone else lined up she was all guns blazing without a care in the world about the op's feelings. The things she said stick, you can't unring a bell. I would never be able to forget someone telling me they settled and could do better. It negates any kind and loving words you'd automatically question if they were genuine or just meaningless platitudes since, you know they're just settling for you. Danger 1. The grass is always greener on the other side. Yellow King STE. This is so common. A person loses weight or get a better paying job slash promotion, suddenly thinks I can do better and goes full FAFO. Now the wife got a rude awakening and will realize that OP was the one who can do better. AITA forcing my husband to choose between divorce and being a house husband while I work full time to support the family? Joanna underscore queen underscore 772. Long story short, my husband, 37M, used to work to support the family while I, 36F, stayed home taking care of our two-years-old daughter. Last month, he lost his job and told me he felt exhausted and wasn't eager to do anything. I said okay and offered to work so he could look after our daughter at home and get some rest until he feels better. By the way, our daughter goes to daycare, so it's mainly some housework and picking her up. But he said no, he needs his time to be completely free. I got furious because this means either I work while also taking care of our daughter, or our family will face significant financial pressure. But I stepped back anyway and had a hell of a month doing everything while he hung out with his friends and played PS5. Finally, I couldn't take it anymore and told him he had to choose between being a house husband or divorce. He chose the first, but it felt forced. I keep questioning myself, was I too harsh? Any good advice would be appreciated. Update, I never thought this would draw so much attention. 
I'm trying to read as many comments as I can and I really appreciate your opinions, especially those pointing out things I should have told him and I didn't. I've decided to show him the post after work and see if we can have a real talk based on that. Again, thank you all. Here were the top-rated comments from readers after the OP's initial post. Something Strange 87 NTA adults with children don't get to have their time complete free. Board Panda 55 This NTA It's is one thing to not jump back in a job it's another to ignore your family completely. OP your husband can spend some time your daughter is in daycare to seek out therapy as well. Antique underscore wafer 8605. She's a saint for lasting a month. Dipshittiston. NTA. Johnny doesn't get to relive being 13 on the back of his spouse's labor. Foggy Days 415. NTA. You were very reasonable. Bluntly, you don't get to rest the way he is when you have a kid. You have to take care of said child. Four days later, the OP returned with an update. Update, I, 36F, showed my husband, 37M, the last post, and we had a talk. Then, without asking me, he invited my mother-in-law to come, even though he knows I've never gotten along well with her. Joanna underscore queen underscore 772. So, I got off work, picked up my daughter, and showed my husband the post after she fell asleep. I told him that millions had seen it and made various points. I admitted that my ultimatum was an impulsive reaction and that I preferred having a calm discussion to work through this. He said he was surprised I shared family matters on Reddit and that he wouldn't have done it. He said he wasn't feeling depressed, just tired and exhausted after years of working, and he just wanted to be childish for a bit and really enjoyed the month off. I kind of understood because we used to travel a lot before our daughter was born, and life has been harder since then. I told him I wouldn't force him to work and that he could take his time as long as he could pick up our daughter and do the housework. He hesitated but told me not to worry. I thought this was the end of it. Then, the next day, I came home from work to find his mother there. I was shocked because he hadn't told me anything. She started picking up our daughter and doing the housework. This is driving me crazy because I have never gotten along with her well, and my husband knows this. I feel like he asked her to come so he could continue being childish, disregarding how I feel. His mother raised him as a single mom, and according to my husband, she was very protective and planned to live with him for his whole life. He felt suffocated, so he went to a university far from home and reduced contact with her. I remember one time she came and got sick, vomited, and I cleaned up her mess. Suddenly, she asked her son to come and told him that her underwear was dirty and needed to be washed by hand that very night, even though we had a washing machine. My husband and I had agreed that our marriage was ours and that she wouldn't come and live with us. He broke his promise. I'm considering divorce, but I'm worried our daughter is too young to understand it. I've thought about holding on for a while, but these days of living with her are already driving me crazy, and I don't see a quick end. I've thought about being an A.H. and forcing her to leave, but that might lead to divorce. I really need some advice. Thank you all. Here were the top-rated comments from readers after the OP's update. Open Incident 3601 The best news is that your daughter is so young that once you get through the transition she will just grow up with you two being divorced. My bio parents divorced when I was two. I have no memories of them ever being together. The OP responded. Joanna underscore queen underscore 772. This helps me a lot, thank you for your words. 13 surgeries. It's far better for your daughter that you get her out of that unhealthy dynamic. I stayed in my nightmare marriage for the sake of my daughter, and sticking around for the crazy did more damage than taking her and getting the hell out would have. She's grown up now and is in therapy. She's also gone and see with her father. Please don't make my mistake. Glittering Bat 353 So, you tell him he needs to pull his weight as an adult, and his answer is to literally call his mommy to do the work for him? 
If he wants to be a child so badly, you really need to pack him up and send him back home with his mommy so she can baby him the way you will, and should, not. Not to mention that you're the breadwinner and can't stand this woman. Put your foot down and get both out of the house. You gave him an ultimatum. He woefully failed it. Now, you need to follow through with the other half of it and bring out the consequences. Open Incident 3601 And if you stay, you will teach your daughter to also choose a man who mistreats her. Imagine your daughter married to a man just like her dad with a MIL just like yours and then make your decision. As the OP mentioned, her husband was now aware of her post online. A week later, he returned with his own post. AITA for asking my mother to live with us to call my wife's bluff after she posted our family matters online? Steven88. I found out my wife posted about our situation on Reddit, so I thought I should share my side too. I lost my job in May and wanted some free time because life after having a baby feels suffocating. I've always been a free spirit, working and traveling, and then I met my wife, Jay. This lifestyle continued, and we traveled a lot, from Tibet to Antarctica. I was a seller, and she had a great business selling replica bags, making enough for us to enjoy our lives. We hit it off, got married, and had a great time together. We even considered being child-free and consulted an older couple on an Antarctic cruise, whose happiness convinced me this could be our future. The thing is, my mom really wanted a grandchild. At the time, I didn't think much of it and felt it wasn't a big deal, so I discussed it with my wife, and we decided to go ahead. Her pregnancy was tough, she had severe morning sickness, and I felt really sorry for her. After the baby was born, she wanted to focus on the baby, and I agreed to hold the family burden alone. Life then became all about work, with no more traveling or other interesting stuff. So last month, I had enough. No more working, no more baby duties, and we agreed to give me a trial break. The past month was quite healing until one day she got mad and suddenly gave me an ultimatum of divorce. I didn't want a divorce, so I started doing housework, which I wasn't prepared for. Then last week, my wife came home and asked me to talk, showing me her post about us in this sub. She said millions of people had read it and called me an immature A.H. I was pretty upset and asked my mother to help with the housework so my wife would be relieved and, to be honest, to call her bluff. She's not happy, of course, and neither am I. We've barely talked since then, kind of a cold fight. These days, I've caught her several times watching her phone for a long time and sometimes crying. I believe she posted about us again, and I've been waiting for her to talk even though I wanted to start the conversation but got cold feet feeling the tension in the family. Writing this is easier. So here I am, internet people. This is my first and last post about it. I just want to share my side of the story. And Jay, if you see this, I'm ready to talk any time. Here were the top-rated comments from readers after hearing from the OP and her husband. Aliens underscore cat. YTA. I read your wife's post earlier today. After you stopped working, you both sat down and she agreed to you taking a month off. No housekeeping, no baby duties. She did all of that on top of working full time. At the end of that time, you are still not ready to go back to work, but she can't do it all and keep carrying that load so she asks you to be a stay-at-home dad, kid goes to daycare, and take care of some of the household stuff. You say no. She's exhausted. Remember she has carried your baby for nine months and is now back at work full time, plus taking in all household and family responsibilities. I believe you are playing games online and hanging with friends? Now you claim you brought you mum, whom you've both been very LC with into the home, to do all the daycare and household chores and you wonder why she is upset? Seriously? Get off you bum and step up to the plate. Being home and caring for a child plus household tasks is still work, but it's not deadlines and traffic jams. She's asking you to step up for her like she did for you. If you can't see that and still think she needs to learn a lesson, your marriage is over. If you came here thinking we'd back you like you did her, you are mistaken. 
you really need to go for a long walk and consider this from an emotionally mature perspective. You are so far off track, you're about to walk off a cliff and can't see it. Bythebrook 88 So last month, I had enough. No more working, no more baby duties, and we agreed to give me a trial break. You expected your wife to be happy working full-time, earning all the money for the household, doing childcare and all the housework so you could have a break? Do you even like your wife, you obviously don't love her? Would you like your wife to do the same to you? If you couldn't manage even half of the load, why do you think it's fair that your wife has to do the lot? And when your wife burns out from trying to do it all, what is your plan then? To put all the load on your mother? The last month has shown your wife that you are expendable. She can manage without you, because you are failing to take any role in the house and making her life harder. YTA Smart Kwaka Husband wants to retire while his wife and mom take care of him. Nope, get that divorce yesterday. Alternative underscore year underscore 340. I have a feeling lost his job is probably an understatement about what happened. OP already doesn't have a husband and her kid already doesn't have a father. Divorce is just putting it on paper and getting him to be enough of an adult to pay child support.